Alright, welcome back to another uh, block bench tutorial. So I'm going to basically walk over some things on how uh, to use the program. Not so much focusing on controls today, but uh, just um, kind of showing you where the different windows are and stuff like that. The next uh, video will explain how to, you know, rotate, pan and stuff like that, as well as uh, start modeling with your things, but I'm just going to sh kind of show you where all the windows and stuff are on uh, in the, the window icons and stuff like that. So uh, today uh, we're just going to cover over some of these tabs here and uh, we're going to just quickly make a cube and stuff like that. So, um, so on the file tab there's a whole bunch of different options uh, including import, export. Uh, this is for your actual model type. Um, you can also create a new and all that other stuff. So you can save as, save project, open model. Um, and settings will allow you to configure the, the program just a little bit more. Uh, Keybinds is pretty useful to seeing all the uh, keys that you might necessarily need to actually model and stuff like that, as well as some other quick tools to make things a lot easier when modeling. Uh, you can change the layout just a little bit, the colors and stuff like that, and there's some other useful information as well on the About tab. Uh, settings, Preview, and stuff like that, you can configure it how you want. I would suggest leaving it all the default settings for, until uh, you get used to the tutorial, uh, or as well as the program, so you kind of know how things work. Um, so uh, by default there's a lot of windows not being used your frames per second are display displayed down here and your model name is over here uh, what we're going to do is add a group and uh, i'll explain all about this later but as you can see there was some settings that have um, popped up since we've done that uh, we can also add a cube and some more settings will pop up on this side over here as well as the UV map over here will be displayed. You can actually drag this around if you want to, or if you need to be more precise, you can actually use the arrow keys over here to move your UV mapping around. Um, and if you want to display the, um, the, uh, the map a little bit more, what you can do is customize it a little bit or no, not customize it, what was it? I think it was create template, template, and it will actually create a automated or auto-generated uh, map for your models. Uh, when you do that, it's going to color the faces as well. Uh, like cubic, um, north is facing this way, so that's going to be the direction your model is always going to be facing is uh, towards the north arrow like this so it's going to be facing kind of like that and you're going to be looking directly on it on the blue square so on the blue face here so when you're actually modeling try to keep that in mind or you're going to have an uh, entity running backwards and uh, that won't look exactly normal so uh, yeah you, you don't necessarily need to use the generated uh, texture you might want to edit it later or whatever you can actually delete them as you can see I, I deleted it by um, right clicking on it I'll just create another one and I'll show you so I just basically right clicked on it and click delete um, you can also save it right here and this will save it to a folder uh, and you can texture it how you want after you uh, basically uh, export it uh, you could also import your own textures, but um, it's easier to generate a template first and then um, move things around as you need and then import it later. So I'm just going to delete that now. And uh, for the cubes, um, basically how cubes and stuff work is um, a group is uh, specifically for hosting um, certain areas together so say you're designing a head section of your model then you would put that under one group you probably rename this to something like uh, head and then your cubes would be named like cube one cube two cube three cube four and then you would be working like this and it would all fall under the same group so I didn't want to do that 
Uh, let's see here. Just delete that. We'll add a new cube and we'll move this one. Uh, let's see, right over here. And if we select it, as you can see here, it selects uh, both of them. The little blue uh, icon around it says it's selected. As you can see, it kind of goes between the pivot points. That's a good indicator that one is selected. If both are selected, it'll be kind of in the middle of your whole um, model, but you can also indicate that it's been selected by looking at the uh, outliner uh, section here. You can also do the pivot points and stuff like that, but um, for that I'll kind of do a separate tutorial. Uh, a lot of these settings are more advanced and will require uh, like a controls. But your rotation and everything, all your settings for your uh, your group will be found under the the group um, group tab and not so much the actual individual um, cube tabs. Uh, you'll still have the size and stuff like that for the cubes, but a lot of your pivot points and um, rotations and stuff like that will be under the um, the actual group. So you can have multiple multiple groups as well. So this could be for something like um, uh, say the rename arm so or body so I just totally misspelled that okay so this could be your body that will be your head and um, so on right so you could actually um, have multiple uh, groups like that and it will be important to group them like this when you're actually bringing them into amp creator so you can set up the animations properly so outside of that, um, that's basically all the stuff that you really need to know at the moment. Um, a lot of the modeling and stuff like that will be uh, in the next tutorial, uh, explaining how to model something as well as kind of get an idea of the uh, character models and stuff like that as well. Um, now one pixel is, I believe I did a wiki page on that a while ago. Uh, and create or block dimensions. All right, so if we go to M Creator Wiki and scroll down, uh, you can kind of get an idea of where pixels are. So each pixel for this entity will be um, this size right here. Well, roughly this size. This will be the Minecraft size here. And uh, that's for one pixel here. Uh, you can also use this chart for kind of um, figuring out how many pixels you need for say an arm or a leg or whatever. Um, you're gonna be mostly working in pixels. So when working with your model and stuff like that, you're going to need to kind of figure out how lar large you want your arms. Generally models and stuff like that, your arm will be the same length of your leg and uh, same length of your torso as well so you want to kind of keep that in mind when you're modeling however um, if you're doing something like a creature that isn't really defined yet then uh, you know just have fun with it um, unless it's something that's supposed to be like a character model or something like that but uh, outside of that um, that's basically some of the basic uh, interface uh, there are some other windows up here but I haven't had um, time to really play around with it so much um, there's a uh, paint and there's another one for the uh, opening model as well so as you can see there's quite a bunch of different uh, windows and stuff like that but for the most part you're going to be working in the edit tab up here uh, outside that, hopefully you guys found uh, this tutorial useful. Uh, next episode, we're going to be basically working on modeling and uh, creating the groups as well as controls. So we'll learn how to 
pan like that, rotate, and all the rotation and stuff like that for your model as well. So hopefully you guys found this uh, tutorial useful. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you liked about it, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.